Hi, this is Ken Anderson from Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, and I'm at the American Society of Hematology in San Francisco, which is uh, a, quite an extraordinary meeting this year. Uh, we've been very blessed in multiple myeloma. Uh, literally, the therapy has been transformed since 1998 and the uh, initial use of thalidomide. And what this meeting is really witnessing um, in many presentations, both abstracts, that are oral presentations and plenary sessions, in fact, is that when we have used novel therapies, thalidomide, lenalidomide, and bortezomib, initially in the relapsed refractory patients, then in the relapsed patients, but most importantly at this meeting, the exciting data is using these novel agents in combination as initial treatment for patients with multiple myeloma. There are several randomized trials now being presented, which are showing unprecedented response rates and extent of response when you integrate or use novel therapies as part of the initial treatment paradigm, both for the transplant eligible younger patients and for the elderly patients who are not transplant eligible. I think this is a really uh, paradigm shifting experience for us in myeloma. I'll just mention one example. If you treat with bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone together, initial treatment of 100% response and 72% very good partial response or complete response. And these are unprecedented levels and extent of response. Uh, clearly, it's wonderful. Why is this so important? It's so important because there are already two papers published that show that the median survival of patients has already been impacted in a major way. Just a few years ago, it was three to four years median survival. Now it's seven to eight years, and it's most importantly being prolonged in the patients who are under age 50 years. Now the other thing I'd mention that's very exciting at ASH is there's a Although we've had five FDA approvals in five years, what is also true at this meeting is there are multiple novel agents. There are new proteasome inhibitors of two different kinds, both being presented here. Both are already achieving responses, including in patients who are resistant to the current proteasome inhibitor, bortezomib. Excitingly, lenalidomide and thalidomide have transformed treatment in the area of the IMIDs, or immunomodulatory drugs, there's data being presented at this meeting for a new image called homolidomide, where it seems early data that there are responses even in patients who are not sensitive any longer to thalidomide or lenalidomide. And finally, we have already in multiple myeloma three randomized phase three trials of novel agents for FDA approval strategies as we speak. And they're all being presented in many uh, forums at this American Society of Hematology. Uh, the first of these is a heat shock protein 90 inhibitor that's being tenespomycin that's being utilized in a trial of bortezomib plus tenespomycin versus bortezomib. The second of them is an AKT inhibitor called parafosine. It's bortezomib parafosine versus bortezomib. And the third of them is a histone deacetylase inhibitor called varinostat, which is in a trial of bortezomib plus varinostat versus bortezomib. All three are in trials of relapsed multiple myeloma patients internationally. And I think it's fair that we expect that we will, although we have new agents already, we will be better prepared than ever before when we get approval of these and other agents to make even a further impact on and benefit outcome for our patients. So it's a most exciting time. There's been a paradigm shift in therapy. And obviously, honestly, myeloma is one of the most exciting topics at this year's ASH for sure.